Yo, what's good guys? Coach Tech here. So today we got a, a budget Chinese air cooler to review and I cop this on Amazon. I'll have the description below for 35 bucks. It usually, uh, they usually have like a $10 uh, coupon on us. So you cop it basically for $25. But anyways, this is the Vitro do, 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 V5 CPU cooler white. Now it comes in white and black, which is a plus. This, it has 120, uh, 120 millimeter ARGB fan attached to it. So this is the Vitro fan. I'm at the Vitro, I forgot the name, but I'll have the, the fans. This fan I actually did review. I'll have it in the description below as well. This was also, also at my uh, top seven Chinese RGB fans. This fan I had as well. So I'm gonna have that as well in the description below. So what do we get? We get a 120 mil fan. We got five pure copper heat pipes, which is a plus. We got PWM smart control. Again, 35 bucks, not too shabby. We have ARGB, five volt guys, make sure. Very nice presentations where you can follow these cats. We got all the specs uh, broken basically down. We got dimensions 128 by 75 by 48. Fan dimension 120, mil 120 millimeter fans. I mentioned fan speed 800 to 1700 RPM. So this is PWM noise level 30.8 decibels. Airflow 21 CFM. So anyways, you guys can see everything. Basically all the sockets and supports LG, LGA 1366 through LGA uh, 775. Uh, we got AMD, AM4, all the way to FM2. So basically, you guys see all the specs here. But anyways, for 35 bucks, how, how is the performance? Because I know all you cats, you know, you just getting, you, you, you want better cools, but you guys don't want to spend a lot of money. And some of you cats don't want an AIO. For 35 bucks, what do you actually get? Uh, let's see. The, yo, the, white looks, the white looks nice. The presentation presentation looks pretty dope so basically these are all the accessories you're gonna run through that in a second let's take the uh, cooler out wow okay very nice very nice this is the vitro fan as i mentioned uh i do have another one so I'll, i guess i'll just put two fans as well just to see if there's going to be a difference in performance very nice white man i gotta say pretty pretty good size for um uh, for a pretty decent air cooler let's see these are the instructions essential. Let's see if they're actually broken down very well because a lot of these cats are gonna be wondering. Um, okay, so what do we have here? Step one. So it gives you everything for the parts list. So this is the back plate. So you have to attach this behind the motherboard. Uh, but, but we have the screws, we have the Intel brackets. As you can see, these little ones with the shape uh, are the Intel, the one that have just a straight line our AMD bracket. So basically everything is broken down pretty nice step by step. I'm not sure if they have give you thermal paste here. Okay, so yeah, so make sure you have thermal. Oh, actually they do give you thermal paste. Never mind. So here they actually give you thermal paste. This is their own thermal paste, so I'm not too sure how it's going to perform. I might not use their own thermal paste. I'll probably use my own thermal paste. Um so basically everything is broken down here pretty simplistic, very nice, I got to say. And this is for AMD. So that was for uh, Intel breakdown. This is for AMD breakdown, as you guys can see here. Basically, uh, just tells you how to uh, install everything. Very self-explanatory. Uh, should be everything should be very simple in that sense. Uh, now, what do we get here in this little accessory bracket? All right. So, like I said, they give you thermal paste. And oh wow. Okay, yo, yo, big ups, man. I love how they labeled everything here. So this plate. As you guys can see here, like, look at this, man. The little things, man. For 35 bu bucks from a Chinese company, I, I might appreciate this right here. This this bracket over here, even Intel, it tells you some some of these manufacturers, popular manufacturers, don't even give you this breakdown. This actually says Intel, and this actually says AMD. I like this, yo. The little things makes it easier for consumers such as me or a consumer such as you who's watching. It makes it easy. It makes you appreciate the product more. Uh, ooh, what well, these are? Okay, I gotta check out what these are. And these are the screws. And this is, like I said, this is the plastic. Now this is plastic. This is the plastic back plate, which is going to go in your MOBO. So most, so mo in most cases, you guys already have a back plate out there. So you're going to want to pop that one out and pop this one out, pop this one in to install the, the air cooler. Uh, I am curious to see what these little um, metallic thingy majigs are. Um, I don't see him here. Oh, okay. So this is, I believe this is just to mount the fan. Right, so these things you got to do to mount the fan, I believe. That's that's what they they use for. But anyways, let's let's check this out. Let's move all this aside. Um, okay, I, I am. This is really nice, man. I like the white that they actually chose to go with. Very nice design. Very dope. Okay, want to see if this is like fine? You see the little plates over here? Okay, it says V over here. 
Check it out, guys. Very decent size. I'm, I'm kind of feeling it. And then we have here. See here, please don't remove. So you gotta put the thermal paste, but very nice overall. Let's, I'm actually curious. And this is the fan, so it wouldn't make it, so basically it's up to you guys whether you want it to go push or pull. And I believe you put this in. Let's actually do it since I'm here with you cats. You cats are gonna be asking a million questions. This design, I am pretty interested on how we plug these bad boys in. I, I literally, have like no idea, but we shall learn as we go. So I believe the fan, okay, so the fan goes, all right, hold up. Let me let me figure out how to do this thing. All right guys, so a few things. Now, this back plate is only for Intel processors. Processors, so over here, you guys basically see Intel and you see, we got uh, 775, we have 115X, and we have 1366. So you're gonna basically, when you are gonna install them, you're just gonna line them up to whichever one you have installed, and you're just gonna put it on the back. You could either screw it, right? You see there's screws here, or you could just uh, peel this adhesive and just basically um, just stick it in. However you wanna make it in the sense of however you're comfortable with. Now, with this, this is the Intel basically bracket. You're gonna screw this bracket, right? Either AMD or Intel you're gonna screw it on on the air cooler itself. So you're just gonna pay, basically take it like this and then just put in these screws. This instructional guide over here is very good. Just follow the instructional guide. You guys are basically gonna you know, understand how to do it. It's actually very, very informative. Now, another thing for AMDs. Now for AMD processors, what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove. So if you have your basic, if you have your stock AMD bracket installed, right, you would have to remove it and this is gonna be the back plate, right? That you have basically in there supporting this bracket. So what you're gonna do is, since I have already it pre-installed, so you're just gonna print, you're gonna install it, right? Where it says AMD, as I showed you guys earlier, you're gonna install it like this. And then when you're gonna mount it, right? You're gonna stick this on this, you're gonna stick it, you're gonna hold this. I mean, or you can just put the computer flat. And essentially all you have to do is just align them up like that and then screw them on and that's basically it. And then you're gonna put the thermal paste I, and I use the virtual thermal paste. I'll show you guys that later in the video. And that's basically it. Now, for how to install the fan. Now, it's a pain I, I, in my personal opinion, but I wish, you know, it is what it is in that sense. I wish they had a different uh, usage. So uh, just make sure line line them up how you wanna do it. So if I, either if you want um, uh, push or pull, if you want air being pushed, in this case, we're just gonna do push. Right, and then we're gonna want the wires to be like this because we're just gonna basically hide them, right? So make sure you get all the orientation correct. Uh, so what you're gonna do is basically you're gonna line them up. So you see how it is like this. This is how it's gonna essentially stay, right? It's gonna be mounted this way. So you're gonna take these, right? These little dumb brackets. Is it in? I always forget, is it in or out? I think I did them correctly. Oh no, I didn't do them correctly. So that they're, they're not gonna go inside. They're not gonna go inside, right? They're not gonna go this way. They're gonna go inside. They're not gonna go outside. They're gonna go inside. So you're gonna basically put them like this and you're gonna snap them like that. There you go. That's how it is. That's all you have to do. That one is snapped. And we're gonna flip it out to the other side and we're gonna snap the other one. So again, we're gonna take it like this. We're gonna grab it. See, it's just a pain. We're gonna grab it like that, right? And then, same thing. Just gonna put some force. Oh my God, and it came out. So the process is tedious, but it is what it is. And then we're just gonna snap it in like that. And then that's it. That's how it holds. And that's it. Your fan is basically snapped in and it essentially works. And that's basically it. Just make sure you see how the orientation, I did it like this. Just make sure you flip the fan because you wanna hide these screws these screws, I'm sorry, these wires as much as possible. So make sure you're getting the orientation right and make sure the orientation of the fan, whether you want to push or pull. So here in this case, we have it basically pushing air through, right? So if you're gonna mount it on this side, again, just make sure the orientation is correct, guys. Uh, but that's basically it. This is how to install it. And then when you want to take them off, just pull it out. And then when you want to put them in, just pull it. So one more time guys, so you can see it. So you mount it like this and then just put some pressure and then it goes in and it snaps in. That's how you basically install it. Um, and that's basically it. Make sure to like the vid for that fresh cut. Let's go. 
All right, so I have everything set up and ready to go. Now I just went with the first test with the one vitro fan, and then I'm gonna add one more. Just on idle, let's get everything out the way essentially. So what we get here, we get um, CPU average on idle at 36.5, so let's say 37. Now the cooling fan speed is running at 1170, so 1200 RPM, you can basically round it up. Now we have a Ryzen 5 3600 clock to 4.1 gigs at all cores. So now what I wanna do is I wanna run a data for about an hour just to see where we at in temperatures and overall at the, um, the, uh, the fan speed as well. Now these fans, I believe, like I did say, go up to 1800 RPM. Now on the, I just left the, on my, um, the fan speed basically on standard in the BIOS. I really don't play around with the curves and whatnot. I just want to do basically a standard test. Essentially when you guys get it off at the box, you know, for 35 bucks, is this thing worth it? So let's go. Check this out. This be tripping right now, man. We, we got at, what do we got out of here? And now we're in 16 minutes, man. Look at this, yo. 57 Celsius, man. This is absolutely insane for $35 cooler, man. This running at uh, 1500 RPM, like I said, standard mode. I didn't want to play with anything to just leave everything standard to make it more like absolutely real life or whatnot. Like I said, all cores at uh, 4.1 gigs. Uh, what do we else we got here? CPU at 57 Celsius, like I said. Listen, this thing, look. Put it right here. The fans, the fans are not loud whatsoever. Like I said, I did review them. This is absolutely mind-blowing. For $35, you could get something that performs, which absolutely insane. What I want to do right now is I want to add one more uh, vitro cooler in there to basically see if we get a better performance with two. Let's go. Also, one other thing, the case itself is a Montec X2 case. I did review the case. I'll have it in the link in the description below. Also, the fans themselves are stock, uh, stock case fans which uh, the RPM, I believe, are like 1200 RPM. So we have two 140s in the front here and one 120. There's no fans on top. I just left basically as is. That's how I reviewed the case as well. And like I said, if you guys want to know the case, it's in the link in the description below. So I just quickly changed things up. I, I still didn't install the fan. So I just, what I basically did is I just had Valley here running in the, in the background. I just want to dissipate as much heat as I possibly can from the GPU just to get it hot, you know, inside basically hot. And I want to see what the temps are going to be. So right now we have, it, it, it did actually increase from 60, uh, what was it? From like 57 to 68. So like to 11 degrees uh, more, you know, 11, 11 to 12 degrees more Celsius at 69. The fans, um, also, our uh, went up to a 60. It was like, actually, it was like around 1700 uh, RPM. And the CPU temps are actually also a little fluctuating between like 67 to 68. Now it's actually like 69. So it's going up there. It's see between 68, between 67 to 69 degrees Celsius. So it is getting a bit hot. The fans are spinning close to its maximum, uh, maximum RPM, but still, you guys are going to hear it in the stack. Still pretty impressive, man, for 35 bucks what performance you get from this uh, cooler. But check this out, check out the sound test. Not, not too bad, listen, you could always, you know, if you have better spare fans, you could always add your own spare fans to this uh, to this air cooler, but still not bad, not bad fans. And like I said, I did a review them and I was actually raving for these fans. These are pretty beast fans. But now what I basically, now what I want to do is I want to add another Vitro fan and just to see if we get better cooling performance. So I did get the second fan installed. Now this is the, uh, the Vitro ice blade fans in here. Now these are not PWM fans. They only, the maximum they go up to is 1300 RPM. Now also one key thing that I did forget to mention the vitro thermal paste this is the thermal paste which i have installed i didn't use my own i figured might as well i am testing it you might as well test the thermal paste too so i am using the vitro thermal paste the thermal paste that came with this air cooler and now the fans which i have installed is in a push pull orientation what does that mean this fan on your right hand side is an intake fan so it's blowing air this way this fan is the exhaust fan so it's blowing air this way. So there's one motion that's coming out. Everything is being blown away, blown, exhausted out essentially. That's what it means by push pull. So this is pushing air through and this is push pulling air through. And then this is essentially, you could say if the exhaust is here is pull too. So this is push pull orientation. So it is running now for 55 minutes. Uh, how's it doing? So, I mean, we got a uh, 58, let's actually put it on uh, 
oh, my statistic. There you go. So we have right now at 58 Celsius. Really didn't do anything. It didn't change absolutely anything at all. We have it at 1500 RPM. Basically, second fan did not, didn't really do anything. I mean, it, you could say it actually looks a little better with the aesthetic. But now what I want to do is I want to actually do want to run Valley in the background as well to see because it's going to get a little more hot. And I want to see if that's going to improve cooling. Let's see. All right, so I do have Valley looping here in the background. I just had the test continuously, continuously running. I didn't restart it. So it's right now it's at an hour and 47 minutes. I believe I uh, it was last time I was at 50 minutes. So it's basically... Uh, 50 minutes added on essentially for just valley like running and looping so it really didn't do anything the second fan i mean uh we have the fluctuating cpu fluctuating between 68 to 69 degrees celsius uh we have the fans at uh, 1500 rpm now i don't know if you guys see the core volt this this is not 2.7 gigs the cpu uh z is just losing its mind i have it set to like 1 1.38 1 1.2 something like that um 3600 as i mentioned but yeah second fan guys doesn't add anything except more noise it actually is a bit louder i'm you guys are going to hear it right now it's just honestly a little louder with the second fan but yeah i mean listen i'm really blown away for this 35 dollar cooler if you cats are looking for a proper cheap budget air cooler whatever you want to call it this is the truth right here, man. This Vitro air, air cooler is absolutely beast. You guys can see the performance. Just cop, cop it. Get the second. Uh, don't even get us. Don't even add in a second fan. Just cop this one thing with the fan, and you guys are gonna be good to go. Adding a second fan, and you just get more RGBs. If you guys like it like this, but you know, performance-wise, you get no performance benefits with the second fan. But this thing is absolutely a beast. Let me know what you cast think in the comments below. As always, guys, I'm Kosher Tech. I'm going to catch cats next time. Deuces.